I'm going to see Oprah. I'm going to see Oprah. What? What? I'm going to see Oprah. Mm, 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 mm. It's quite it's quite a dance move I got going on here. Dudes. Oprah. Ugh. Flying to Calgary tomorrow. Tomorrow evening. Tomorrow afternoon. And then I'm getting to I'm getting together with a friend I haven't seen in four years, and we have been friends since elementary school. It's just then on Wednesday, like Oprah Day, day with my mother-in-law uh, and my father-in-law. Uh, the people that made this beautiful man. They're lovely. Beautiful man, stop it. I mean, he's cooking beef stroganoff. It's a beautiful specimen. Well, here we are. We are packing day to head to Calgary. So I'm leaving it literally down to the wire here. It is 10 to 12. I don't have to be at the airport until like 3 or something. 3.50, yeah. 3 o'clock. Boarding time's at 3.50. I think 3 is even like maybe even a little bit too much time. Of course, it's like reminiscent of old times. The mattress is on the floor. We're packing up those storage containers, or at the moment Dean is packing them up while I get packed up. So I don't need too much stuff. I'm just bringing a carry-on. I'm just kind of listing out pajamas, comfortable clothes. I just need something to wear on the flight and then something for like the day. I'm really only there for a day. I get to Calgary tonight around 6.30. I'm going to have dinner with my friend and then tomorrow in the day lunch evening oprah and then thursday i'm out so it's like one day it's nothing major um i'm hoping to catch up on, on a bunch of emails and you know just connect with people visit and that's pretty much it i gotta say my wardrobe is looking a little sparse because we're packing up so many things but also it's going to be cold so i checked the weather and it's only looking like it's going to be 10 to 15 degrees maybe 19 when i get there tonight this is celsius by the way for canadians so I'm bringing some pajamas. I'm also bringing a comfortable casual outfit uh, for evening times and a sweater because it's probably going to be cold. And I am bringing a dress. So this is a long knit dress from Zara that has um, some stripes down the side. It goes to like mid calf and I figure if it's not terribly cold on the night of Oprah, I'll wear this with my denim jacket and my Tevas. It's like a little bit um, urban, but it'll work. And if not, if it's raining, then I will wear um, some black high-waisted jeans with either this crop, a mustard crop, or my future is female shirt because it is freaking Oprah, guys, and I'm pretty sure she has this shirt. So um, this is the future is female shirt. So yeah, I'm either gonna go like a little bit casual with runners um, kind of deal, or Still casual, just a little bit more dressy. You know? And then also for the travel home and there, I'm gonna be wearing a Smash and Tess jumpsuit. Is that what they're called? They, It's like a, you basically look like you're wearing pajamas. And um, I'm gonna wear that with some runners and my denim jacket. So that is travel outfit. I will likely wear the same outfit on the way home. That's always a good hack. Whatever you travel in, you can travel home in. It just kind of keeps things simple. Okay, I ended up taking out um, a t-shirt because I really don't need that many shirts. Of course, what's taking up so much space is this damn sweatshirt, but I hate being cold, so sweatshirt's coming. So that's it for clothes. I'll pack up my Tevas in there. I'm gonna actually shower and do my hair and all of that right now, so hopefully I don't have to wash it till I come home because that's pretty standard for me for two days. Um, and that's it. So I just gotta pack up a few toiletries and I'm done. Sitting in the Kitchener Waterloo Airport. It's so tiny. It reminds me of like the ones in Asia. Now, a couple more hours and I'll be there. I can't say Dean was thrilled because there's a ton to be doing at home for this move, but whatever. I'll take a vacation when I can get one. I was putting on this eyelash one, but like this babe don't need no fake <laughs> eyelashes. She's got naturally beautiful eyelashes. Anyway, we've been laying here on this bed talking shit. This is Jamie, by the way. Hi. Hello. How long, we were trying to figure out how many years we've known each other. Too long? Like at least yeah. 20. More than, well no, it has to be more because we're in our we're, we're mid-20s now. We're mid-20s now, I think, so. Yeah, 20 over 20 years! I don't know. Too long. It's a long fucking time. I like it. It's good to connect, you know? So it's good to connect with people in real life. That's all I gotta say now. Okay, we're gonna go see my in-laws. Let's go. I'm gonna give you guys a little hack. So I forgot to bring my makeup remover and I just had like thick black eyeliner and it was like dripping down my face after my shower. 
here's a little hack. Hotels always give you these little um, lotions, right? So you take a lotion and then I did bring um, my little, uh, what's it called? Like cotton remover things. So you sort of place like a thin layer of lotion on that and you just gently rub your eye. And then with a hot face towel, oh, it's gone. It's fabulous. So there's just a little hack, a little hotel hack. All right, time for bed. I'm gonna watch a little bit of my show. I'm really into Killing Eve. It's a really good show. Also, I need to be like all lotioned up before bed. Is this gonna come out? Oh, God, that's a weird bottle. Ooh. Nice shower, I lotion up, put my lip, you know, lip balm on and away I go to bed. <laughs> it was a good day. Screw you, coffee machine. It's not working. It's not working. And I mean, it's really simple steps. And I tried everything, and I'm super annoyed. So now I'm gonna go downstairs and get a coffee. But I don't think my in-laws are ready yet. And I'm not ready yet until I've got like, breakfast and everything. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna throw on a sweatshirt, rinse my teeth, and then go get some coffee, because this is bullshit. I'm not happy. <laughs> It is like, I don't know if you can see that, but it's a pretty rainy, miserable day, which I, what I was, you know, I was expecting that. So I brought my iPad and I'm gonna answer a few emails, do a little bit of work, and then meet my in-laws for breakfast. Um, I'd say like in about, what time is it right now? It's only 6.51 in the morning here. It's early, but we're two hours behind, so normally it's about 10 to nine at home, right? Yeah, so. And a little hack. I'm all about the travel hacks right now. I went to Starbucks last night and I got myself um, some treats for the hotel room because I didn't see shoppers or something. Shoppers always has like snacks and granola bars and stuff and I'm only here till tomorrow morning because I hate being hungry in a hotel room. Here's a little treat. Sorry that the color is all off on this by the way. But a treat and a coffee, I mean, what? Also, perks of using a cup when you travel with your period, this is it. No box of tampons, no pads, just that's it, friends, that is it. Another news, I'm gonna put some makeup on my face, just very natural and casual because that's my jam, that's my jam, you know? My in-laws are staying right next door, so I'm gonna text them soon, but I don't wanna wake them up too early because this is actually their time zone, and so they're probably a little sleepy. Me, no, I'm not. Well, I'm a little tired, but I don't know, when you're on your own and you don't have anybody to take care of but yourself, it is a gift. It's also a gift to have those little minions in my life, but you know, nothing like distance to make the heart grow fonder. So I just put on this uh, moisturizer, which is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. I like this. I also brought this as my lotion, just quite frankly, because it's in a very small bottle and it was the smallest bottle that I had. Next is the Bare Minerals, uh, what is this called? Complexion Rescue in Bamboo. Now. I like this product, but it is a little weird. And so how I apply it is I kind of like spread it out, but then like push it in and let it settle into the skin. Because I feel, I feel like it kind of sits on the surface and needs a second to get in there. And so that's how I, because if you just keep rubbing and rubbing and rubbing, like you would a regular foundation, I feel like it just rubs off. But I do like it. I brought my Milk, Flex Concealer. Yeah, this will just carry me through the day. I'll look a little rested. And if I want, I might just put on a lip color for this evening. Um, but I mean, I'm gonna be like one of thousands sitting there watching Oprah, so it's fine. So we're back from the mall. We went to Cross Iron Mills, which is a really big mall um, in Calgary. At least, it, yeah, it's in Calgary. And I got some stuff, so let me show you. First things first, a present for Jack. I asked Jack as I was leaving, do you want mommy to get you anything from Calgary? And he said, yeah, I'd really like a Black Panther outfit. And I was like, what? <laughs> 
Black Panther outfit. Now, I can't take any credit for purchasing it. It was actually purchased by Baba and Papa. I was explaining to my mother-in-law, Carol, how much Esme loves these little crop tops. And so we got one that we thought was like really sweet print um, and a little bit more modest, of course. Like it's not really a crop, it goes to her belly. And then these are some denim shorts. And of course, a lot of little girls shorts end right here. And honestly, I'm not a big fan. Um, I'm not the most modest person, but I just think when you're a child, there should be some modesty. I showed her these smash and test jumpsuits and then I tried it on and I was like, isn't this so cute? And she's like, yeah, let me get it for you. I tried to protest, but she, she got me. And this is like a little microfiber white shirt. It's absolutely adorable. I love it. They were having a five for 35 or something. This appears to be like a microfiber. What is it? It doesn't really say, but I really wanted some boy shorts, just some comfortable underwear. Um, and I really like the material and they're super stretchy and I went with a large. The medium was really stretchy, but I don't know, I just felt more comfortable and I feel like I'm gonna wear these on bloated days and it's like, yes, black. I went with two nude. I went with this lovely burgundy color, you know, cause these are like the classic. A burgundy and a bright pink when I'm feeling fancy. So there we go, some nice shorts and they're super soft and luxurious. So those are my purchases. I wish I'd picked up my camera when I was out with them, but it's the same old age old thing with me. You know, it's like I'm living life and visiting with them and laughing and talking too much and, and it's hard to pick up the camera. So what I will do is if I seriously did forget to take any more footage, I'm gonna include some photos now so you can get a feel for the love that I have for them because I love them so much. In fact, I was sitting across them at lunch and I was like, I'm so glad I'm here you know like I'm so glad I'm sitting with them and then I get to just be with them right now and talk with them and hear what they're up to and it's just you know you just feel grateful for being in a person's presence I feel like that bright and early what time is it about five to eight in Calgary my flight is at 10 so I'm just packing up my stuff and we had breakfast downstairs because the Holiday Inn that we stayed at has breakfast another good hack for travel is find a hotel reasonably priced with breakfast because then you save on that like $30 breakfast experience you know you can just go and eat it downstairs so anyway I'm packing up to a quick mad dash I'm going makeup free on today's flight I am really tired honestly oh I'm tired too many like cramps and a lot on my mind with the travel so no need for makeup okay let's pack up this place and a few of you were asking about the brand name i have a samsonite samsonite um suitcase well what's this called carry on and also a regular suitcase and Dean always finds his suitcases at Value Village. He's a big fan of thrifting his suitcases and here's my little uh, travel case so I will include that one into my backpack and that's it so let's go. That was nuts. That was nuts. Okay. Is it recording? It's recording. Presents. Presents! Okay, so Jack, I got you, well actually, I wish I could say I got you presents, but they're actually from Baba and Papa because Mom almost missed her flight. Mm -hmm. That's fun. So here's Jack's present. From Baba and Papa. No, yours is after. What is it? What is it? What is it? What's this? It's a... Panther costume. What else is Are you there? serious? Oh my god, Jack! You were just talking about what this. Else is in there? What the heck is this? It's the Black Panther mask. Oh my god! Thanks, Baba and Papa. Open it up. Ooh, it's so pretty! How does it? 
Okay, it's like a wear? little crop top that you love with the little stretch. And then what else you got? Ooh. Fashion? I love it. Do you like it? I oh, love it. Love you. Thank you. Mwah, mwah. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs>